Okay, our next new feature is the Lesson Activity Builder. You will need to click on this magic hat right up here. And this is not to be confused with the Lesson Activity Builder that you will find in the puzzle piece over here. These are two totally different things. The Lesson Activity Builder is really cool, otherwise known as Lab. You can either insert the wizard by clicking on Insert and Lesson Activity. So up at the top, Insert and Lesson Activity or you can click the magic hat, which is right here. Um, just before we get started, just a couple of tips. Um, you can tap this little button right here, the little squiggly arrow to reset your activity, and this little pen means that you can edit your activity. So let's get started. We'll click on the hat, and our wizard will pop up, and there are several different games that you can add to your um, to your lessons. So there's a super sort, there's a shout it out, a rank order, flip out, fill in the blanks, match them up, la uh, label reveal, and speed up. Okay, so a few of these have been discussed in a previous video. Super sort, um, shout it out, um, rank order. So let's look at flip out. Let's try this one. So if you click on flip out, all you need to do is you can preview this activity, but we're going to click add this activity. Gives you a few templates that you might like to pick. There's the low gravity flip out, that means you're on the moon. You can pick a Mars one, different pictures. Um, simple flip cards, so they're a little bit more plain, and you also have some monkeys. So I'm going to pick the monkeys that are in the jungle, and then I'm going to click Next. Now, what is going to be on the back of my card and what's going to be on the front of your card? So you could do something like um, uh, contractions. So I could do cannot, or sorry, let's say do not, and then let's say don't. Okay, so then we have the face says don't, and this one says, um, so, okay, so I've taken a minute here and I've just added a few cards that we could use. So we've entered in what we want the back of the card to say, what the front of the card will say. And then just for fun, I added in an image here too. So say you were sorting things that were living and non-living and the kids needed to indicate whether tulips were something that were living or non-living, you could also insert pictures. So I wanted to show you that you could do that as well, just by clicking on the picture and searching for your picture. If you wanted to switch which card was the back of your card and which was the face, you can always switch right here. Okay, so you just click this little button right up here. Then we click next. Now it's time to add the game component. So let's say that I want to do a hat pick, okay? So then you would click add. What this does is you will be able to um, randomize the names that get picked out of the hat by incorporating a student list. So if you have a, you can type your names in here or you can copy and paste your names in here of your students in your class and then you can actually save the list so you can use it for future activities or you can add from a list. So I have already made a list right here. I'll just use my Ed Center list and you can see that I've got all of my teachers here or all my students here, I'll say. And then I can say finish. Now, what does this look like when it is done? So it'll give itself a second and it'll look like this. So then I would have the students come up and they would have to tell me that I have it. What's the abbreviation it would be I've. Okay, so she will and they could tell me what they are before they flip them. Now, if I was trying to decide, um, I can click the reset right here. It'll reset them all. If I needed to go back and edit, I could edit it right here. And also the names. This is the little extra piece that I had. So if you click names on the hat, it'll, every time you click it, it'll give you a new name that comes out of the hat. So you can choose a new student. So that is how the this activity, Lab Activity Builder works. You just pick the wizard, you customize it to meet your needs, and you can add the game component.